as, as I alluded to, we, we sort of got started in 2014. So it's been, you know, we're in 2017, so it's obviously been a little over two years that this has been in conversation. But um, the process was um, important for us uh, to be able to have funding for the capital projects we have in place. The, the, the overarching piece in a, in a lot of the things that we do um, as mandated by the university and the president and the board of trustees is that we are self-sustaining, we generate our own our own way. And so the opportunity to work with a multimedia rights partner like JMI and then to have the opportunity to change the financial structure a little bit that allows us to to do capital funding was really, really important. But that doesn't come without, a, you know, you've got to do some things to, to help them. So they've got to find a way to generate those revenues back. And so they did, and they, they came and they said, would you be open to these pieces of the, of the puzzle? And certainly we were. I mean, I, the, the landscape of what we do is forever changing. And um, to find a partner that is as deeply rooted in our state as Kroger is, and uh, had an initiative that, that wanted to reach other areas of just putting a name on a field, and, and Paul hit it on the head uh, when he said, they haven't talked about hospitality, they haven't talked about tickets, they've talked about how can we impact Kentucky. And that was really, really important for us. And so from, from a very selfish perspective, um, it's really cool to have official fuel partners and official training table partners and nutrition partners, and those things are really cool. What's really cool is the fact that they're going to impact the fields that these young people play in and the things we're doing across the state for the entire uh, time, that the grants that they're going to put in place to renovate fields and create places for young people to play ball and give us a chance to bring the new student athlete of the future into our program, I like that a lot. It's really neat. And so I'm thankful that they they thought bigger than just a stadium. Were, were other bids part of the process as far as other potential sponsors, or were you always zeroed in on program? Yeah, and I would defer to Paul a little bit on that. I think that that's sort of that we, we give those opportunities and those rights to them. And so it's I'm not so sure it's a bid process it's as much as a conversation. And who is in those conversations? I think that would be more for Paul and his team to be able to answer that. Um, but uh, we give them that opportunity to say, but but we have the ability to say at the end of the day, we, we don't feel like that's a good fit for, for the university. And so, and I would never want to go to the doc, Dr. Capolito and say, hey, we, we think that, and it, it not be the right fit for Kentucky. So um, we feel like this is a great fit. And uh, the, you know, the people of the state um, are deserving of something that is, that is helpful and impactful in more of the ways than just a name. There's been a lot of other, you know, corporate sponsorships for stadiums, but this is the first um, for an SEC football stadium. Do you think that'll catch on at all, or how do you, you know, feel? I don't know. I think each institution has unique, unique stories. You know, I, I, I remember being at, uh, you know, we went down to the O'Connell Center down at, at Florida. It's just been uh, renovated, and they opened it up, and, and I, I don't know the exact, exact tech, exact tech, I think, is the name of the facility. And it's hosted two national championship teams and, and, and some Final Four teams down there. So I, I think that as athletic departments continue to find that they are in the, the, the revenues, how you find that, the flattening revenues, or sometimes the things we do, how do we move the, the enterprise forward for intercollegiate athletics and find ways to continue to grow our program and, and make sure that our kids have a great experience when they come here. And uh, so uh, we've got a baseball team that is, is, is competing at a pretty high level right now, and it's pretty exciting. So where do we want them to play? Part of this conversation, envision the day when we'd be able to dig a hole in the ground to begin construction on a new baseball, baseball stadium, which has happened. It's now underway because of this kind of a friendship and this kind of a partnership with JMI and Kroger. Without that, I'm not sure we can move forward. The other conversation is, how do we get the tennis facility going? And so that will go where baseball vacates. And then what we'll do is open up opportunities for campus for recreational sports as well as parking and green space, which is desperately needed on our campus. So it's an opportunity for everybody in every facet to find a win in there and at the same time augment the experience for the people that currently are in it. Does fan opinion matter at all? Yeah, I mean, I think you do, but I mean, I, I'm not, I think there's there's times when we've got to move, keep going. You know, we, we've got to keep going. I, I absolutely respect our fan base. I've been here 15 years. I think that shows I have great respect for our fans. I love our fans. We want to make sure that we are always listening. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I've still got to put 
the, the enterprise of making sure that our young people have the best opportunity to compete in this SEC. If I said to our fans, what's most important? Um, how we how we get there in terms of the names and things like that, or is it more important you want us to compete well and have really quality student athletes? I think that they would all say, let's go do something best for our student athletes and give us the best chance we can to compete. And um, so, and uh, th this is one component. It is not the only component, but it is one component of that. So really, really important. And uh, again, the landscape continues to change in what we do. And, and uh, you don't find people like Calvin and uh, the people at Kroger that really want to invest in the infrastructure, not just the name. When, when you all announced the new Rupp lease uh, a couple months ago, you were clear that that name was going to stay the same. Why, why football and, and, and not Rupp? Why, why go this route? The Rupp, the Rupp name is an iconic name in, in terms of, of what it means to, inter to, to college basketball and what it means to this program. And, and um, it is. Uh, in terms of, of what we do in recruiting and the people we bring into our program, I think when you say Rupp Arena, it has a special feel to it that, that uh, I just don't think you can, you, you know, I know you, we're not going to mess with that. So that is something that is so important to us in the athletic departments. But our football stadium, we've continued to sort of re, revamp that and remold it a little bit. And I don't think we're done. We will continue to do things that try and give us the best chance um, to to invest in our program. And this is an interesting investment too, as it relates to the nutrition of our student athletes. We've got our training tables we go into and Kroger's gonna pour into that and that's really helpful to us. So it's another unique way that we get to do that. So they're two different facilities and not everyone will treat the same, you know, but the, that is an iconic facility that is unique. We're trying to make our stadium an iconic facility and we're not there yet. Hopefully Kroger Field will become an iconic facility, but it's we're not there yet. We gotta continue to go that. And I thank them for having a little vision to be able to look at that and say, yep, it's got possibilities with what Coach Dupes is doing, the way we're recruiting, the way we play. Hopefully we'll be able to, to say that in you, a few years. You've got the design, the, the mock-ups here as far as the design, but is that process still ongoing as far as what the lettering and such would yeah, look I'm like? Yeah, I'm sure that they're going to look at that and try and figure out what's what's best, what's good, what's better, what's best. I mean, this, this deal uh, has been sort of in the works, but we've gotten to a spot in the last two weeks where we, we felt pretty good about where we are, so I'm sure there'll be some some uh, molding of that as we go. I think the, the way it was phrased was up to 12 years. Are there points along this deal where it's going to be reevaluated, or is it no, guaranteed? No, it's, it's, it's 12 years. We've got in a relationship. Our relationship with JMI extends that period of time. Okay. And, and obviously, if, if um, you know there's changes in the landscape of college athletics or something would happen, there's always ways you'd have to have look-ins and things like that. But I, I think that we're you don't go into partnerships thinking, hey, how can I get out? You look at partnerships, how can I stay invested and be together forever? And so that's what we, we're going into it in just that fashion. Thanks, Mitch.